Hi, in this particular video we're looking at grade 7 plus type questions. This is a kind of problem solving and we're given this 3 minus root x all squared equals that and we're going to work out the values of x and y and on the surface of it, it seems a little bit daunting but it's not too bad once you kind of get used to what they're asking you to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm looking at the left hand side and I'm going to take 3 minus root x and I'm going to square it. Okay, so I've got 3 minus the square root of x multiplied by 3 minus the square root of x. And don't forget that's going to equal y minus 6 root 5. Okay, so let's have a look at the left hand side first. So 3 times 3 is going to be 9. And then I've got minus 3 root x, minus 3 root x is minus 6 root x. And then I've got a minus times a minus is a plus, and a root times a root is going to be uh, square root of x squared, which is going to be just x on its own. Okay, now if you're not sure about how I've gone from this to this, please do have a look at some of the other videos on the playlist and that will give you um, a few extra examples. Um, have a look on the channel and there are playlists on factorising and expanding brackets. Okay, so we're saying that that equals that. Okay, well the good news is, is that this minus 6 root 5 is this. So basically what we're saying here is the value of x is actually 5. Okay, so we can say that that must be 5. Now if that is the case, it also means that the other value of x here is also 5. So what I can do is I can rewrite that now as being 9 minus 6 root 5 plus 5, and that equals y minus 6 root 5. Okay, so 9 plus 5 is going to be 14, so it's actually 14 minus 6 root 5 equals y minus 6 root 5. So in other words, what we're saying is the value of x is going to be equal to 5 and the value of y is going to be equal to 14. And actually, that's the answer to the question. So it's only a couple of minutes to do this sort of question, but you also have to have confidence in being able to do the expansion as we've got there. I hope it's helpful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Have a look at the channel and that will give you some other example videos. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.